Okay. What's your name? Sean Remy. So, how long have you been riding? Eight years. Road bike for three, track bike on the street, like a road bike for three, before that. What's the biggest change that you've seen since going vegan? Energy, performance, recovery. I say recovery. Like, you do 100 miles the next day. I don't, I haven't been sore from a workout or a ride since. I just remember, like, eating whatever I wanted after a race, and then the next day being really sore and just be like, oh, my legs hurt. Just because I've, just, you know, shoved my body full of that food that I just didn't recognize. So how many calories do you eat in a day? I'd say average four, but it's four to six thousand a day. Um, I, I'm comfortable with four on days that I don't do anything. I found that eating recommended 3,400 a day to maintain my weight. Like, I'm always still hungry, and I think it's just because I love eating so much, I always have. If you could only eat one thing. Rice. White or brown? White. A higher caloric value and it, I think it tastes better I always have what do you add on your rice habanero sauce sometimes a lot of the time and soy sauce what's your take on sugar uh, glucose that's what your body runs on no nutritional value but it's fuel um, that's all I've been using I don't use any supplements I just sugar fruit and then high starch at night and I'm, I mean, I don't get cramps. I haven't gotten a cramp in months. Yeah, sugar, it gets me through a five hour ride and I don't have to eat like a bunch of like bars or I don't have to spend money on that. I just eat like dates and have sugar water, no electrolytes. What's the main thing you would eat on a hundred plus mile ride? Monday I did a five hour ride. Um, I actually ate before. So I had six bananas, which is like 630 calories. And um, so sugar, carbs, and I had two dates per hour. I'd eat two dates every hour, and um, I split a, one cup of sugar, which is 675 calories, between both my bottles. So by the time I got done my 100 mile ride, I had about 2,000 calories, and then had 3,500 calories on my re like recovery meal, like total for the day already. And felt phenomenal, went and ran errands, like wasn't tired, ate a pizza, a large, a whole foods pizza, no oil, no cheese, all carbs, mushrooms, tomatoes. Yeah, and never get food coma. I just get more energy and I just feel great afterwards. And my favorite dish is I'll get eight servings of pasta, like a whole pound, and I'll cook that. And I'll do a whole pound of mushrooms, which is only 145 calories. It's like potassium and protein only. But I just love the texture and um, I just love mushrooms. And uh, I'll use a whole jar of Trader Joe's organic mushroom uh, tomato sauce, and it's fat free too. So it's like the only uh, fat is in the uh, noodles, which is very little. And I'll eat eight whole servings. So it's like a family of eight's worth of pasta, and I'll eat it in one sitting. It's like, yeah, you're full, but like, it's not like I'm not tired. I feel like I could go run, but I'd probably get a stomach ache because I have all that food in my stomach. But I have energy. I'm not like, oh my God, I just had a chicken and steak burrito and a taco, but I totally deserved it, but like now I can't move. Yeah. How much do you spend a week on food? I spend 30 to $50 a week on food, and I eat at least 4,000 calories a day. So if you're thinking about that, that's a lot of calories to eat every day. And I used to go to the grocery store and spend $30 for like a day's worth of food, and just have no energy and just be like, oh, I want another snack. I'm really stoked. Is your girlfriend vegan? She is pescatarian. And it's funny because when we first started dating, she really liked me, but she didn't know if she could date me because I actually ate meat. And so it kind of bothered her. Um, and I kind of have her to think for it in a way because I've always kind of wanted to give up meat. It just made me start thinking about my health. And, you know, I was obviously noticing things about my body that I wasn't pleased with. So I cut out meat and thought, oh, I'll never go vegan. But when I researched what was the healthiest way to live, let alone what I've been experiencing with my body and my whatever I'm doing every day. 
How do you handle a relationship with a person that you care about? Um, the biggest thing is my daughters. I They eat everything that I eat when they come over. Um, but at their mom's house, they have a freezer in the garage full to the brim. It's all meat. All it is is chicken and beef and steak. And they have meat with like every meal. And so that's just one thing that worries me. And I try to get through to their mom. I understand it's their choice, but it's, you know, when they're like, but it tastes so good, isn't really a good enough answer. I get it, we were all raised the same way, most like, you know, with eating habits, kind of mad that I never knew. <laughs> Since going on a uh, vegan diet, how often do you poop? It's funny, because everybody's like, oh my God, you're eating all those bananas and stuff, you're gonna go to the bathroom all the time. I was like, it's regular now. I would say like, maybe three times a day. It's consistent bowel movements. It's so regular and it's like, I never have trouble going to the bathroom. If vegan was so amazing, if vegan was the ultimate diet, why aren't some of the most elite world athletes vegan? I think that for people that are like at that stage of fitness and level of fitness, like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like if you look at like top bodybuilders, the athletes, they could eat garbage, they're training, so they, it does work, but what happens when they stop? Look at any of the great cyclists, Greg LeMond, Eddie Merckx, they, you know, they used to be skinnier than us. And, you know, I always thought that when you get old, you get big. That's not the case, that's just because you just stop moving and you feeding yourself all this fat. And so, therefore, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. It's just in the long run, it's not sustainable. Like, this is sustainable. I could sit on the couch. I wouldn't eat four to 6,000 calories a day because I wouldn't be moving, but I would have, but at the same time, I'd be giving myself all that energy to go do stuff. But, you know, I still wouldn't be sitting around eating like a majority of my calories from fat. So it's good because you're still gonna be healthy. One shred of advice to help someone that wants to try plant-based while still living with their parents who don't agree. Starches rice, potatoes. A lot of people think vegans salad. There's no calories there, there's no energy. Um, rice, potatoes, families eat that with their meat. So you could eat that and just skip the meat or... It's really hard, the parenting thing, um, with the parents not supporting it. Like one of the reasons like why my girlfriend isn't vegan, like obviously she does the, like to eat fish, but it's because of her family so traditional. They're like Chinese. Vietnamese. They flipped out on her for not eating meat. She goes to family events and they're, they just say the meanest things. Um, and then she stopped eating eggs last year and her mom flipped out. And so it's like, it's really hard um, her staying with her family after graduating. What's your thoughts on people wearing bright colored cycling shoes? Oh, I love it. The brighter the better. I love uh, anything high vis. I love the color red, personally. Um, it just so happens that my team colors are red and black, so bright red shoes, red helmet, red glasses. Red's a good color.